Hey guys, Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome back for another celebrity hair tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Joe Keery's hairstyle in Stranger Things as his character, Steve Harrington. So first of all, if you haven't seen Stranger Things yet, I urge you to go watch it because the show is incredible. So as I was binging my way through the show, I realized that the internet was buzzing about a couple of different things. Mainly, whether Steve Harrington is actually the father of John Ralphio from the Parks and Rec universe, but also that Steve Harrington's hair is amazing. So I have to agree, Joe Keery has great hair, and I really like the Steve Harrington style from this show. To me, this is basically your classic 50s greaser slash rockabilly style uh, semi-wavy pompadour, except Steve's is normally also accompanied by a few hanging strands of fringe. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to try and recreate this hairstyle, so here we are. And before we get started, I am going to state the obvious in that uh, his sides and back are quite a lot longer than mine. So is my recreation going to look exactly like his? No, of course not. However, most of the actual styling is up here, so uh, I think that I can recreate the majority of the hairstyle for you guys. And I will mention sort of what to do if you have longer sides as he does as we go on. So let's get right into it, and as always I like to start with clean damp hair, so I will be right back. I'm starting off by pre-styling with some mousse here. Moose is a great pre-styler because you can get some pretty decent hold and since it's so lightweight, you can get some serious volume. I'm gonna work that into my hair as per usual and then go in with a medium tooth comb and run that through my hair to get it totally saturated. I'm also gonna use the comb to start that high side part that he has here. Now we're gonna move on to blow drying and I'm gonna start with the part area to get that really set in place. Now for the short side of my part, I'm blow drying my hair with a uh, back and sort of downward angle and that's basically just to blend it in with the disconnected undercut that I have so that it doesn't look silly. If you've got longer sides like Joe Keery does, you probably don't have to do quite as much of the backwards angle. Um, you still want to do a little bit as his sides are kind of slicked back, but uh, you probably won't have to go to the extreme that I am here. Now for the majority of my hair, I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time alternating between blow drying it in the direction of natural growth to really set that side part in, as well as blowing it in the opposite direction because we want to build in quite a lot of volume here. Also switch from time to time and blow dry it straight back so that it doesn't have the tendency to fall forward. I'm gonna grab my vent brush and do my usual uh, flicking of the wrist in the front to get that sort of arc going. And you'll also see me do a little bit of this sort of swooping motion to kind of get my hair going not only to the side, but with that sort of curve towards the back that you see in his hair. I also use this scrunching motion to help with that backwards curving shape. Once my hair is mostly dry, I'm going to switch to the cool air setting and go over my entire head again. Now it's time to add the main styling product, and today I'm using the Hard Cream Pomade by Baxter of California. I can't stress enough how much I really love this product because it provides quite a high hold, but it leaves your hair feeling so soft and flowy, and I think that's going to work well for this style. Once the product's all worked in, I'm going to go back in with my vent brush here to solidify the general shape that I want. You could also use like a medium or wide tooth comb for this. Now basically I'm just going to clean up the side part and really solidify that backwards swooping curve. Then I'm just going to go in with my fingers and I'm going to use this uh, sort of interesting messy parting technique that uh, I've seen Joe O'Brien from The Gentleman's Cove use and it works great for this style. And I'm also going to use quite a lot of that scrunching motion that I was using before while blow drying just to really build in the volume and that curving shape in the center of my head. Now to finish up, I'm just going to grab a few strands right in the fringe to have those uh, hanging bits that he's got going on there. 
Once I got a couple strands hanging down, I'm basically just going to uh, clean up any areas that are still messy and get it into the final shape that I like. Last but not least, in the true spirit of the 80s, since that is when the show is set, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of hairspray as a final setting product. So there you have it guys, my take on the Steve Harrington hairstyle from Stranger Things. So like I said in the beginning, obviously mine doesn't look exactly like his because um, my sides and back are considerably shorter, but um, I think that the top and the main style still came out pretty well, and um, so I hope that this is still helpful for any of you who are looking to do the Steve Harrington style. So as always, thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you at the next one.